evening. Um, I really want to thank you for staying here for allowing everyone to speak. And my name is Rachel. When I was a little kid, I decided that I wanted to be a mom. And I also decided I wanted to be a teacher, which I am, and I'll be teaching a raisin in the sun in about nine hours. And I wanted to be a paleontologist, which did not pan out, and I wanted to be president of the United States, and we're waiting on that one. <laughs> so even though I've always wanted to be a mom, right, I want to do so on my own time, and I want to do so on my own terms, because teachers and paleontologists and presidents, they, they matter too, right? <laughs> presidents matter a lot, especially now, with the White House occupied by a sexual predator and a second-in-command who's the most anti-choice politician in the nation. There have been a lot of people up here who are more qualified to speak about the medical necessities of abortion and that are qualified to speak about their personal experiences with abortion. And I think most people here probably have their minds made up on its morality. We're based on scientific fact or we're based on perceived morality and that's how it goes. So I'm here to speak to those people who are passively pro-choice. So people who view H5343 as redundant, a controversial bill in a state that's 45% Catholic, a vote that's maybe not worth taking. I teach immigrant students. And on November 9th, like many people in this room, I was stunned when Donald Trump won the election. And I came to school and I expected my students to be stunned and to be distraught. And I found the opposite. They were disappointed, but they weren't surprised because they understood in a deeply personal way the depth of anti-immigrant sentiment in the United States. If Roe versus Wade is overturned, many of you would, I think, be stunned. And I would not be. I would be disappointed. But anti-woman sentiment, particularly that aimed at female sexuality, runs so deeply in this country in a way that is so frequently underestimated. So those of you who are concerned with the idea that support of H5343 will be controversial are obviously not wrong. I have been here since 4 p.m. I know you all have been here longer than that. It's controversial. But, but those who are concerned that it is unnecessary, I do believe are incorrect. It is necessary. It is urgent. And as a Rhode Islander and a woman and a teacher and hopefully a future mother, I urge you to move this to the House floor, take it to a vote, and vote yes. Thank you.